Welcome back to Let's Play Benjorin Par- Gen Ben- Yeah, Benjorin! Benjorin! I'm Benjorin! Paranormal our Vashon Diver! And this is K7. The Cardinal Sins. And, uh, we're gonna get out of this dressing room because it sucks. All I found is a tape recorder. Oh! Wait a minute! Absolutely brilliant show it was, too! I'm glad you enjoyed it, sir. You have a nice evening. No, it can't be. Oh, I shall. Good night. Professor Jones? Oh, Professor Jordan. What a pleasant surprise. What brings you to Rome? I'm on a case, actually. What are you doing here? Oh, just taking my annual holiday. But you say you're on a case? Do tell me more. Well, it's complicated. An actor at the theater seems to have killed a priest. Oh my, that does sound serious. Well, Mr. Jordan, I'm afraid I have to run. It's getting quite late. But please, feel free to come by my hotel tomorrow. I'd like to hear more about your progress on this case. Perhaps I may even be of some assistance. Uh, yeah, sure, that'd be great. Wonderful. Here's the address. If you'll excuse me, I must be off. Goodbye, Mr. Jordan. It was lovely to see you. Yeah, good seeing you too, Professor. Wow. That sure was odd. Yeah, um, you just happen to be in Rome at this time? Lady, I want you to tell me everything. Oh, fine. Lady, I want you to speak into this recorder. You don't think she'd appreciate that. Lady, I want you to look at my card again. You already showed her the card. Lady, you're annoying. Fine. Fine. I don't like you. I can't do many things to you. Um... Well, since it's getting late, I guess we can go home. Ladies and... You said that like three times already. Do you say anything else? And just as I was starting to enjoy being alone, too. Man, today has been a very odd day. Why is that? Well, aside from this whole murder and demon thing... I ran into Professor Jones at the Teatro Manzoni. Professor Jones? What's he doing here? He said he was on a vacation, but it seems like a pretty odd coincidence. Do you reckon he's up to something? No, I mean, I don't have any reason to be suspicious of him. Wait, yes you do. Well, aside from the whole not really teaching at Oxford thing. Yeah, there you go. But I'm sure he's got a perfectly reasonable explanation for that. Anyway, he gave me his hotel's address, so I'll go see him at some point tomorrow. Right. Any leads on the Renzi case? Not really. I'm hoping to make more progress tomorrow. As it is, I'm glad today's over. I don't know if I can handle any more strange stuff happening. Are you expecting someone? Could it be? No, are you? Not to my knowledge. Please be Alice, please be Alice! Surprise! I think this is one unexpected occurrence I can live with. Yay! Does Alice sleep in our room? Day two. We made it to day two, you guys. So that's pretty much all I've been able to find out so far. I'd say it's a good start. Do you want me to come with you today? Not yet. I think I'm just gonna go recheck some stuff. But I'll definitely need you guys to help me out if I find anything new. Okay, just let me know. I just realized I didn't quite capture the very top of this screen. Oh well. Oh, Alice Wilkins. It's Alice Wilkins, fellow paranormal investigator and your significant other. 
you think. Oh, Alice. Oh, come on. You should be saying something else to that. Sal's giving us the finger. It looks like she's giving us the finger. That's a nice sweater you're wearing. What, this whole thing? I've had it forever. It brings out your eyes, I think. That's really sweet of you to say. Awkward. Done anything interesting lately? I flew to Rome. But nothing too interesting ha has happened here yet. Don't worry. I have a feeling that's going to change very soon. Okay. Everything okay, Alice? Yeah, Ben. Everything's fine. God, they're so awkward. It's so cute. Hey, Alice, can we talk? Sure, what is it? Um... You mentioned on the phone that you'd learned something about your family's history. Oh, yeah. Yes, I asked my older brothers and did a little research. It turns out that my family is originally from Smalem. Really? Uh-huh. That man you dreamed about, Marcus Wilkins, he was my great-great-great-grandfather. That's a lot of greats. Well, he lived there over 200 years ago. Wow. Oh, yeah. If you guys remember back to my Let's Play, or, you know, if you've actually played uh, Ben Jordan 3, there was a gravestone that said Marcus Wilkins. And Alice Wilkins. Strange. So what else did you learn about Marcus Wilkins? He went to Philadelphia in 1804 to infiltrate that witch cult you told me about. At the time, he had just married my great-great-great-grandmother, Alice McBain. No kidding, so she was the original Alice Wilkins? Yeah. Apparently, she was also Smilem's oldest living resident. She lived to be 115. Wow. That's right! I saw her grave at the cemetery. I really want to go to Smalem now. From what you've told me, it sounds like an interesting place. Yeah, where people died, that sounds... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure I'm ready to go back there just yet. But maybe someday. Awesome. We scored points with Alice. Oh, that you can't even see. I got a 28 out of 106 points. Got any ideas on what I should do next? I think you should probably update Mr. Renzi on your investigation. I know I'd want to know as much as possible if I were in his shoes. Hmm, good point. So what do you think of Rome? Is it romantic? I haven't really had much of a chance to see anything yet. I'm hoping we'll have some time after the case to do some sightseeing. I'm sure we will. Okay, that's all. Better get back to it. Okay. You got anything to say, Simon, about Alice? What do you think she means? You think she likes me? Wow, he has no advice. Okay, you have nothing to say. Alright, fine. I'll go see Renzi on my own. Bye, guys. I'll be back later. Bye. Bye. Oh, look, there's Percy's Hotel. But we have to go to the police force first. What's up? I wonder if we could say anything new. Hello again. Hmm? Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about demons? Demons? No, signore, I do not. Why do you want to know about demons? Oh, no reason. Just forget I asked. Thanks for your help. Not a problem. Anything else going on? Alright, fine. We'll just go see Renzi ourselves. We'll just let ourselves in. Whatever. Yo, Renzi, what's up? I need to, to confirm that... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, no! Oh, no! Renzi has hung himself in his cell. You get a sick feeling in the pit of your stomach seeing him like this. Oh, God. Oh, there's nothing you could do that'll help Renzi now. 
I'm not going to get anything else out of him. Is there any evidence around here? Anything at all? God, how horrible. You! You tell me what's going on! I am more important than this. No, I need to know what was... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, what's this? There seems to be a crumpled up piece of paper on the floor in front of Renzi's cell. Oh no. You bend down to pick up the piece of paper and see that it's a handwritten note. Oh man. Is it a suicide note? That's too sad. It reads, Mr. Jordan, I cannot take the guilt anymore. They have made me realize that my life is no longer worth living. Please forgive me for making you come all this way for nothing, Alessandro. Man. You turn the note over and find that it's got some sort of faint image on the back. What? The back of the note has got what looks like... So, okay. Um... Faint image. Is there anything we can do about that? See no reason to use that on yourself. Maybe we could, uh, maybe it's in something we could... Yes! Using the pencil, you rub the back of the note. To your surprise, a strange symbol is revealed. Okay, well, we can't identify it yet, but maybe someday we will. Oh, Alessandro didn't have to kill yourself. We would have saved you eventually. Um, hi. Guess what? Stupid police force. Guess what? Sir, I have some bad news. What is it? Renzi is dead. I just found him. He hung himself. He hanged himself. Oh my god. I suppose you could not take the guilt. Perhaps his visitors made him realize there was no hope for him. Excuse me a moment, won't you? Marco! Renzi si è sua da... Sing il derbe par, par, par! Grazie! Damn, I'm sorry. Visitors? Yes, early this morning. There was a priest who was sent from the Vatican to see him. Is that common? Sometimes priests are sent to comfort prisoners, yes. But from the Vatican? That seems like it would only be reserved for important business. I assume a murdered priest is important enough for the Vatican, signore. Thanks for your help. Oh, Renzi. Is he still in there? Are they even going to do anything? I hope he's gone. Because that would just be terrible if they just left him in there for a while. Alright, it's gone. Can we go in? No. Well, on the sad note, unfortunately, we will have to end the video here. And have a moment of silence for Renzi. Renzi! Bye for now, everyone.